Fosh female Jedi Padawan, Verger, had escaped the Jedi Purge in Order 66, having disappeared around 30 BBY when she discovered an advance force of Yuzhan Vong on Zanama Zsikat and chose to live with them there for the next 50 years. By the time Lumaya met Verger, Verger's own fallen Sith apprentice, Asharad Het, had been contacting Lumaya from Korriban for some time to warn her of the impending Yuzhan Vong invasion of 25 ABY. Lumaya and Verger plotted on how to turn Darth Vader's grandson, Jaken Solo, against both Luke Skywalker's New Jedi Order, as well as the New Sith Order under the rule of one Sith, Asharad Het, from Korriban. Verger, a Sith to some, a Jedi to others, died in 28 ABY, three years following the Yuzhan Vong invasion. Twelve years after the death of Verger, in 40 ABY, Dark Mistress of the Sith, Lumaya, lured Jason Solo, his cousin Ben Skywalker, and a fellow Jedi, Nalani Din, to Lumaya's hideout in the ancient mansion of Darth Vectivus, the happy Dark Lord. She convinced Jason Solo that Verger was a Sith, which she did not even know at that time but which subsequently was revealed to Lumaya's assistant, the female Twi'lek darksider Elim Arar, by Het on Korriban, to be true. Jason Solo, convinced by Lumaya to join the Dark Lords of the Sith and adopt the Rule of Two, rather than to accept rule by Ashar at Het's Rule of One new Sith Order on Korriban. Finally, after months of training Solo, Lumaya tasked him with finding his own apprentice and, facing her lifelong foe Luke Skywalker, in one final duel, Lumaya fell to his blade. Jason Solo, now trained in the ways of the Sith by Lumaya and Verger, and given the title Darth Kytus, would, only a single standard year later, with seemingly all the plans of the Sith for aeons prior to then, lie in a dead pile on the floor of a starship bridge above Shidu Mad, near the Happy's Cluster. After leading the combined fleets of the Galactic Alliance and the Imperial Remnant during the Second Galactic Civil War, Kytus eventually fell into a trap set for his fleets by Jedi Grandmaster Luke Skywalker, and while his flagship the Anakin Solo sustained heavy damage in the firefight, Jason was too preoccupied to prevent his twin sister, Jaina Solo, from boarding and sneaking up on him. Following a fateful duel, Jaina slew her brother Jason Solo, Darth Kytus, piercing his heart with her lightsaber. Tahiri Vela, a new order, Jedi Knight, born on Tatooine, had been taken by Jason Solo when he became Darth Kytus to be his Sith apprentice. However, following his death, Ben Skywalker, Solo's cousin, managed to redeem Vela and restore her to the Jedi path. Vela had been captured from the Jedi Praxium on Yavin 4 by the Yuzhan Vong and shaped by Mishan Quad and Nen Yim of the Vong to become a Jedi Vong hybrid with a split persona named Rina Quad. Having loved, albeit perhaps only from afar, Anakin Solo, Jason's younger brother, whom she had seen killed on Mirkir, when Jason, as Darth Kytus, approached Vela to join him and rule the galaxy together as Dark Lords of the Sith, 
she at first accepted, but after performing a single mission for Kytus and assassinating Imperial Head of State Gilad Palion at the Second Battle of Fondor, Vela quickly renounced the Sith objectives and, with the guidance of Ben Skywalker, was guided back onto the path of the Jedi. It was a dark time for the Sith, and it seemed their long struggle might finally be at an end. But there was another Dark Lord of the Sith, the male human Jedi Padawan of Masters Kayati Mundi and Anya Kuro, Asharad Het, the Tuscan from Tatooine, was born in 47 BBY and served as a Jedi General in the Clone Wars, later escaping Emperor Palpatine's Jedi Purge, dubbed Order 66. Going into self-exile on first Tatooine, and later following his expulsion from his homeworld by Obi-Wan, Old Ben Kenobi, working as a bounty hunter, Het eventually found the Sith holocron of Zozan, one of the Dark Jedi Black Legions, to be banished following the first Great Schism in the Jedi Order. Zozan's Force Spirit, imbued in her holocron, was almost as ancient as the title of Sithari itself, dating back to the original arrival of the exiled Black Legions to Korriban to subjugate the Sith species. Het went into self-exile again, this time in the Unknown Regions, but was abducted by a Yuzhan Vong scout ship and experimented on by Vergere. Following this encounter, Het changed his name to Darth Krait and established his base on the ancient Sith tomb world of Korriban. He sought to reform a new Sith order under a rule of one, that one being not one person or another, but the good of the Sith as a collective whole itself. Prior to the Yuzhan Vong invasion of 25 ABY, Krait had attempted to contact and warn Lumai of the impending extragalactic threat. However, following the Yuzhan Vong wars, Lumai had grown, for Krait's liking at least, too obsessed in turning Jason Solo into the ultimately ineffectual Darth Kytus. From well behind the scenes, Krait's minions orchestrated the eventual collapse and defeat of the Galactic Alliance and its replacement once again with the Second Galactic Empire. The New Jedi Order had sided with the remaining non-exiled Yuzhan Vong on the so-called Osis Project to re-terraform worlds that had been destroyed during the Yuzhan Vong invasion. Sabotaging this project and making the Jedi and Vong appear at fault, Krait weakened the interior resolve of the Galactic Alliance and eventually their tenuous ties with the fell Imperial Council of Moffs under Emperor Rohan Fell. Following their forced alliance following the Battle of Shedu Mod and the end of the Second Galactic Civil War, finally broke when the Moffs demanded retribution from the Vong, the Jedi, and the Alliance and declared war on them all. Within three years, the Galactic Alliance was crushed or dissipated by the Fell Empire and the Jedi abandoned their ancient temple on Coruscant and retreated to their newly re-terraformed successfully Sanctuary on Osis. At that point, Krayt stepped forward, and at over 170 light years of age, he stormed Coruscant, marched into the audience chamber of Emperor Rohan Fell, and, killing him and tossing his corpse aside, simply sat down on the chair himself in 130 ABY. The Galactic Empire of the Sith was restored. <laughs>